Today we would like to present the ZIG glare sensor, a sensor that is detecting glossy surfaces. First of all, an adjustment is necessary. The distance between the object's surface and the sensor must be 50 mm plus minus 1 mm. In the second step, the angle needs to be adjusted. The angle must be perpendicular plus minus 1 degree to the object's surface. There is an adjustment mode that helps to find the right angle. Set the operating mode to D, Align. Then incline the sensor into all directions and see the change in the LED behavior. You see that the green LED represents one direction and the yellow LED the other direction. If the alignment of the sensor is correct, both LEDs are off. Set the rotary switch to one of the three settings, either A for fine, B for middle or C for coarse sensitivity settings. For standard applications, B is recommended. In the second step, we will explain the different teach-in methods. In total, there are four different ways of how to adjust the sensor. The one-point, the two-point and the three-point teach as well as the dynamic teach. The first method is the one-point teach. This method requires only one adjustment to the glossy part of the object. This method is used for applications where a defined kind of gloss needs to be detected. Set the rotary switch to zero, respectively one if you want to adjust the inverted Q output. Move the glossy part of the object under the light spot and press the teach button. The setting is finished. The sensitivity can be adjusted by setting the other rotary switch to A, B or C. The second method is the two-point teach. This method requires the adjustment on the glossy part that shall be detected and on the second, less glossy part of the object. This method is used for applications where the sensor should switch between two defined gloss levels. Set the rotary switch to 2, respectively 3, if you want to adjust the inverted Q output. Move the glossy part of the object under the light spot and press the teach button for 2 seconds. The yellow LED starts flashing. Then move the second less glossy part under the light spot and press the teach button again. The setting is finished. The sensitivity can be adjusted by setting the other rotary switch to A, B or C. The third method is the three-point teach. This method requires the adjustment on the glossy part that shall be detected, on the second less glossy part of the object and a teach when no object is present. This method is used for applications if an alarm in case of no detection of material is required. Set the rotary switch to 6, respectively 7 if you want to adjust the inverted Q output. Move the glossy part of the object under the light spot and press the teach button for 2 seconds. The yellow LED starts flashing. Then move the second less glossy part under the light spot and press the teach button again. The yellow LED keeps flashing. Finally, remove the object and press the teach button again when the sensor's light spot is located on the background. Please observe that the background shall be matte and not glossy. The setting is finished. The sensitivity can be adjusted by setting the other rotary switch to A, B or C. The fourth method is the dynamic teach. This method requires the dynamic adjustment on the glossy part that shall be detected as well as on the second less glossy part of the object. This method is used for applications where a teach in is only possible during a running process. Set the rotary switch to 4, respectively 5, if you want to adjust the inverted Q output. Move the glossy part of the object under the light spot and press the teach button and hold it down during the whole teach in process. The yellow LED starts flashing. While you hold the button down and the LED flashes, move the object between the glossy and the second less glossy part. After at least three moves, release the button. The setting is finished. The sensitivity can be adjusted by setting the other rotary switch to A, B or C. The 